So in today's video, I'm going to be telling you about how the new hype after a month has calmed down a bit. So I decided to do a video today and I'm going to be doing a video reviewing John Luke video with the expert Aaron Patrick. Check the video out and let me know what you think of the video in the comments because this video is really important and lots of people have been asking questions. As you see in the clip I'm going to show, there is also a couple of my friends and family who have been asking me questions regarding the whole side hustle and the whole online hype and all the what ins and outs of it so check the video out and let me know what you think it's just going to be a quick one but very important video so make sure you watch all the way to the end and make and leave us a comment thank you bye four you've just got to be prepared to make sure that you're the right side of the line and the law going forward so first and foremost what were the rules and what are the rules now the new HMRC updates and the new laws and stuff, it's going to be a lot harder to just kind of stumble into it and get away with it. So, you know, from the get-go, you're going to have to register self-employed and do tax returns, etc, etc. Um, what's it called? I do eBay, Amazon, Depop, all that stuff. Oh, that's all right. It's always been like that. It's never changed. No, it never changed. It's always been like that. You can always... Um, anytime you make revenue of a thousand pound and one penny, you have to declare it. But it doesn't mean you'll get taxed or anything like that. Do you, do you yeah, that? yeah, I do. I've been doing it. Oh, it's really easy. You do your tax report or you do a good bookkeeping of just keeping the ins and the outs. And then you just document it for the month. So I do monthly um, reports every month to just make it easier. Like, so then like, all, all, all the growth. Do you do that online, do you? Yes, you can do it online. And then you do it once a year, do your tax return. It's really basically simple. But that's if you have another job. No, it's not. It's something actually that I'm currently doing a video on on YouTube. So we're just literally just going to talk through what are the new laws? What can we get some, you know, I probably should Google it as we talk about it. But um, yeah, what is kind of the new, what's new in? Well, social media is blown up over it, right? So it doesn't matter what Facebook group you're on, doesn't matter what thread you're looking on on X or Twitter, you know, in Instagram, everyone's blowing up over the fact that there's this big new change and we should all be worried and everything else. But I think the most important thing to everyone to know is actually the rules haven't changed. There's nothing around here that's changing the way that black and white from what you had to do before to what you do now. The only difference is, as you kind of alluded to there, is the fact that HMRC are going to know more. They're going to be told more about what goes through. And therefore, you've just got to be prepared to make sure that you're the right side of the line and the law going forward. So first and foremost, what were the rules and what are the rules now? Well, the rule is, is if you sell an item with the intention to trade on any of these platforms, so if you are just selling your items because you're clearing out the closet or you're clearing out a load of you know old stuff and you're just trying to get that money back, then that's not really what this is aimed at. What this is aimed at, what this always has been aimed at, if you go out there with the intention to buy something from a boot sale, from a charity shop, from anywhere like that, and your intention is then to go and sell it for a profit, well, you can do that without reporting anything as long as your sales to the amount that you actually sell, not the money that comes into, the, into your bank, but the amount that you sell is less than £1,000. And that's always been the criteria. That £1,000 is in a given tax year. A tax year runs from the 6th of April to the 5th of April. So if you, you know, class yourself as a hobbyist and you are still doing this and you're doing it under a thousand pound, absolutely fine, no problem whatsoever. And the second it goes over a thousand pound and you do more than a thousand pound worth of sales, then technically, and per HMRC's rules, you should be letting them know. By letting them know, it's about completing what's called a, a personal tax return. Yep. This is the bit where I think people get more confused than anything else. The whole point of a tax return isn't just to look at your eBay sales and just to look at your salary. It's to look at every bit of money you earned in a given tax year. So the only difference of having to complete a tax return or not complete a tax return, so previously if you were just having a you know salaried position, you never need to do a tax return. Well, the only difference is that you're then having to tell HMRC what you earn in total in a tax year. It starts on the 6th of April, ends on the 5th of April. And if you have a requirement to tell HMRC and do a tax return, then if you work in a full time and you sell on eBay, then you have to tell, uh, tell HMRC that you are 
in this full-time job and how much you've earned from it, even though they already know, but you still need to tell them on a tax return. Then you need to add on top of that, how much you earn from the from eBay. And the reason you need to do both is overall what you're taxed, overall what your tax position is gonna be, is gonna be a combination of all of the income you've earned in a particular tax year. The reason you have to do a tax return is because HMRC don't have a clue and they don't have any idea as to what you earned from eBay. So all that tax return is designed to do is to reconfirm what HMRC probably already know, and that's how much you've, you've got from your full-time job, but also tell HMRC what you've earned on top of that, so that if there is a tax position or there's tax bill that you need to pay, or there's a element of tax that need, that's due, you're then declaring that to them and then goes from there. And the most important thing to remember is that the deadline to get that tax return in is the 31st of January. So to keep compliant, to keep squeaky clean, to make sure that you've got everything right is first of all, tell HMRC that you've got a tax return to do and make sure it gets filed before the 31st of January. And before we move on, can we just break down on a tax return and how that looks? Does someone who's never never filed one or never looked at one, or they're just brand new, brand, brand new? Perfect. So let's use Scoop Dog's uh, scenario here. If you had a tax return and you had a full-time job, then part of that tax return will just be a load of boxes and asking you for the information that you have on what's called a P60. You've all probably received a P60 in the past, but never knew what it was really for. All a P60 is designed to do is look back in that tax year, how much you've earned and how much tax HMRC have had passed off you. So in this scenario, you'd fill in how much you were paid in that particular year, how much tax you've already paid, and hopefully then there's nothing, nothing extra due at that point. And then the only other thing they'll need from that is who paid you and what their PAYE scheme. And that's all going to be on that P60. And when it comes to the reselling side, the eBay side of things, then what they need to know from there is the total sales. So that's going to be not what's hit your bank account, but the total sales that eBay has declared or Amazon's declared or combine the two if you've got both platforms or whatnot or whatever platform you're using. You have that as a total sales. Then you have your expenses, which is mostly going to be the fees that eBay or the platform has been selling on you. Then you're going to have fees of actually you buying or purchasing the actual stock in the first place. And then basically there's just going to be a breakdown of any other costs available. So mm -hmm. telephone costs, travel costs, computer costs, subscriptions, treat it as a business. So it's going to be all those different elements there. Mm -hmm. and, and you've already kind of said one of the most best ways of keeping on top of this is just having that separate bank account and if you yeah, push all those costs reason. through that separate bank account when it comes to doing a tax return and putting them into those different categories then you're already going to be in the in the right spot so ultimately you have your sales you have all your costs that are going to be associated with it and then what will happen then is that will give you a profit you add that to in this case your full-time salary add the two together and then the tax position <laughs> you're all going to be calculated based on what that total income is going to be during that period the intricate details and everything else that you may want to know will be over here so we're better off ending with the next step for you guys if you do do want to get going with it up to the stage there we go so you've got our channel there and there's years Why? worth the content and this one I, I literally released eight hours ago is uk uk real resellers don't upset hmrc and it's gonna go through all that we've talked about in terms of why you use quickbooks put it off up for there and yeah and then yeah go go from there so get yourself over there for any more information really obviously you can re-watch this if you're joining us late lots of questions on and thank you for watching the video today it was a very important video and all the questions are in the full video which is linked in the description so you can go and watch John Luke's channel or you can watch Aaron Patrick's channel I've got them both linked in the description so you can watch the full video but my video is just a quick review video reaction video to cut down the hype kill the hype and let everyone know really what is about and what is the law what is ethical moral and also how to be honest and do your right things when it comes to doing your job or even if it's a side hustle so thank you for watching the video and please leave a comment like subscribe and watch out for the next video coming soon thank you bye bye